All right, let's talk cam bearings for a second. These are just Clevite cam bearings for Vortec 350. Um, these came from eBay. Now, correct position for cam bearings is two o'clock. That's with the engine sitting upright, looking at the front of the engine, it should be at two o'clock. Now, to see better, I install them with the engine upside down. So two o'clock would transpose to eight o'clock. So here's what we've got. And just to show you, if we flip this around, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. But we're doing it this way. 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. So how I did this, I did a 90. Um, and then I did a, from the 90, I did, oh, hang on. let's see, I did, from the 90, I did a 60. So from, from six o'clock, we need to go 60 degrees, right? Because this is, from here to here is 90. We've got two increments, you know, seven and eight. So if you think about this, if there's a line here, I didn't draw it, but you would have 30, 30, and 30. So since we didn't draw this line, we've got 60 degrees, 60 degrees here, 30 degrees there. So then I just centered up the bearing and just drew the inside of it. And then what we do is we line up our oil hole on that line. And we just come over here and we put a line up the bearing. Now that will be our center line so that we can line these up looking from the top of the engine. We will center that up. It's a little crooked, but the part that we're interested in is right there. And that's gonna go, that's gonna point up at 12 o'clock and we'll push the bearing in that way. Now, one thing to note when you do these bearings, most aftermarket bearings, they have a, uh, they have the front bearing has two holes. And so you'll line this up, you line this up. You basically have a, well, what they tell you to do is a 10 o'clock, two o'clock, basically. 10, 11, 12, one, two. And we're gonna flip it around to a, what is that? A, uh, four o'clock, two o'clock, three, four, yeah, four o'clock, four o'clock, eight o'clock position. Uh, I only care, I line up my eight o'clock and line up my bearing or my 12 o'clock, put my line and we'll make sure we put that one in the front. So I'll put these in starting from the back forward. So we'll start all the way back and, and move our way forward. And then this one will be the last one we install. One other thing to note on cam bearings is they're different sizes and that's the OD is different sizes. So like I said, I work from the back to the front. So we start with number one. We know number one's easy to identify. It's got the two holes, but you could also check the part number and it's a 1349. So that's number one. From there, we go to, um, like I said, we're working backwards. So we need the 1350s. 1350. 1350. 1351. 1351. Okay. So three and four. Wait. I almost messed up. We said 
number number five is a 1350. So we go with, we have number two in there, one and two, three and four are both 1351s. And then two and five are 1350s. Now, see, I've got these all stacked up in this box. I'll double check them when I pull them out, but they're stacked up in order of how they go or how I'm gonna put them in. So I'll pull that one out and I'll double check it, but this makes it easier.